Hi, and in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to put some text onto a photograph as well as a nice white border. So I'm going to change my background color just so that I can show up that white border. So I'm going to go along to design, page color, and just pick this slightly gray page color. Then I'm going to go to insert, picture, stock images and then I'm going to scroll down I'm going to pick this image here let's say this is my image and click insert now your image will clearly come from your file so you will need to go to insert picture picture from file and then go and find your photograph now once you've inserted the picture you can see you can't move it round you can just about resize it but it's a little clunky so select it go to picture format wrap text in front of text and then we can move it anywhere we like and we can also oops we can also resize it so now if we've got the picture inserted let's put a board around the outside so you need to go to picture format go along to format pane and over here you'll see format picture if you go to the bucket icon here and you've got fill and line if you click on line click on the drop down and select solid line this all refers to a border line that will go all the way around the outside of the picture. Now at the moment we've got solid line checked and the color is black. So if I deselect, you can now see there's a very thin black line all the way around our image. Select it again. Again, go back to the bucket icon, go down to line. Let's change this color to white. And now go down to width you can use these up and down arrows to select the perfect width that you would like for the border and as I click upwards you can see that border getting bigger. Now currently I've got some rounded corners on my picture if I just deselect it you can see I've got rounded corners and that's because if I go back to the bucket icon down here it says join type and I've got mine currently set to rounded if I go down to mitre, you can see now I've got nice sharp corners on the edge of my image. So if I select it again, go to the bucket icon, let's go up to 10. So I can just insert 10 from my keyboard and press enter, deselect. You can now see we've got a nice white border on our image. So that's the first thing. The next thing is to go to insert, text box, draw text box click and just drag out a text box. It doesn't matter where it is for the time being because we can move it around. Let's just type me and my mum. And as you can see, we've got this black border around this text box and a white background, which we want to get rid of. So select it, go over to the menu here, go to shape options, go to the bucket icon, go to the line section and select no line. Then go to the fill section and select no fill. And as you can see over here now, there's no line and no background. If you want to change all this text, then select the box, go to home. I can change the font. So I'm going to go down to this font here. And then I can use these up and down arrows here or these icons here. This one is increase the font size and this one is decrease the font size. So I'm going to increase my font size to about there. You can stretch out these text boxes if you lose the text and then you can place this wherever you like. And then to then export this image, you have to group everything together. So you can see I've got my text and I've also got my picture. If I select my picture, hold down your command or control key and then click on the text. And you can see now I've selected both of those. You can see the border lines around them. Now go up to picture format, go along to group and select group. And now this is one element. So to export it, if we right click, go down to save as picture. I'm going to save this to my desktop. I'm going to select picture two. And then I'm going to save this as a JPEG and then just click save. Now, one of the reasons we might want to consider saving this as a JPEG is because if I now reduce the size of this image, look what happens to the text. You see it vanishes and it's really strange. So it doesn't stay at its original ratio. Even if I was to hold my shift key down whilst I'm transforming it, you can see the text changes. So that's why we like to save it 
as a JPEG and then we can re-import it. So let's go up to insert pictures. Now I'm going to go to picture from file, go to my desktop, you see picture two and click insert. Now you can see the picture, there's an outline but you can't see the picture and that's because it's gone behind this other picture here. So again with everything that's inserted into Word you have to wrap the text or you have to change the wrapping otherwise you can't move it. So select it, make sure you're on picture format, go to wrap text and select in front of text. And now this is our JPEG, let's move this one down. This is now our JPEG and now when I resize it you can see the text just stays beautifully in the corner and doesn't adjust or move. And of course now because this is a JPEG you can use this on social media, you can use it on websites, you can use it on adverts or you can just use it as part of your project within Word. So all I'm going to do now, I'm going to delete this one and I'm going to speed up the video, I'm just going to produce another one and then come back at the end and finish the video. Perfect. So that's just a quick video to show you how you can place text in your images, have a nice white border and save it all out as a JPEG. I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please like and subscribe and have a great day.